So we're representing out here in Wilson at the uh, Wedgwood Country Club. So uh, as you can see, we got some golfers out there. So it's gonna be a hot one. What's up YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys so much for coming back for yet another video here in Central North Carolina. Thank you so much guys for the continued support for all of you that are subscribed and continue to come back and watch these videos. I can't thank you enough. I know every YouTuber says that, but it's true. Um, a lot of the channels will not be out there if nobody's watching them and if we really suck. So uh, I do seriously appreciate it. Again, I'm not a uh, professional, lawn professional. If this is the first time you've ever clicked on Mr. Ferguson's channel, we welcome you. We would love for you to subscribe and hang around. Uh, click the bell so you'll know when these videos come out. Comment below, get in the conversation. Um, I'm not a lawn care professional. I'm a DIYer like many of those that watch this channel. We got some guys that go out and cut grass and are lawn care manicurists. Um, that are in the comments. We got some pros out there, some people on all different levels of lawn care. So we welcome you to join. I'm here in Central North Carolina. I have GCI Turf Type Tall Fescue and GCI Cool Blue. Grass types, as you can see, I just cut it. We're gonna walk around the yard. I'm gonna show you the mow. It is um, the Saturday before Memorial Day. This video should be releasing on Memorial Day, thus the, the old Honest Abe Walmart hat I picked up for 4th of July a while back. I had to go, I had to get in the theme, man. My wife bought me this Old Navy um, America shirt, so I had to get in theme, man. It's Memorial Day. We are here. As I said in last video, it's eye in the corner. If you didn't see it, go back, check it out. I kind of put my tribute to Memorial Day at the end. I wish I'd have done that in the beginning, but we're, we're celebrating this weekend because of those that served in the military who gave their, their life for this country, for the cause, um, on foreign soil many times. Um, they're on, on, think about that. I mean, think about being in another country and laying down your life while your family and your kids are at home knowing you'll never see them again. Laying down your life for the sake of your country, that is love. And even, the, even Jesus talked about it. Greater love hath no man than he that would lay down his life for a friend. Um, Jesus recognized, obviously he knows, he knows about war, he knows about friends, he knows about battle, and uh, we honor those in the United States military that served in our place. Yes, I am a veteran. I don't like to toot my own horn all the time. I did go on three deployments. One was Egypt. It was more like a working vacation. But to all of my veterans out there, I know it's not Veterans Day. We're not celebrating, quote, veterans, but I, I kind of lump them all together. We thank those that are currently serving, those that did serve. You don't get enough thanks for leaving your family for years and months upon time. Uh, you're going on ATs. If you're in the Guard, I know you're going on different missions um, in country um, um, with active duty and things of that nature you guys know better than me some of you were higher ranking than me i made it up to staff sergeant and 12 years i had enough in the guard i wish i went active duty uh first and then went national guard but that's another story so uh I, the lord guided me in what i did and i'm glad i did what i did in the military so we thank those that laid down their life for us that we can have the freedom to have a yard to not be ruled by another country, to not be persecuted for the beliefs that we choose to believe in. And so we uh, we thank the families of the soldiers that gave their lives and uh, just want to remember them today. So uh, that's why we're decked out in America, uh, loving on the country this weekend. And uh, we hope that you'll take time to just remember them uh, before we do anything else, you know, fun and, and remember why we have the freedom to do the things that we are doing this weekend. So uh, I had a bunch of plans go like this this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. Um, I got in contact with my brother who lives out in Wilmington. Um, he does movies and stuff down there, uh, goes fishing all the time. I was like, hey, I need to go see my brother. It's been many months since I went and saw him. Well, that didn't work out. So I'm still here in North Carolina, Central North Carolina, not down at the beach at Wilmington. Um, so that didn't work out. We had a golf tournament yesterday. If I didn't already put a clip in, I had a little clip that I thought about making yesterday. So no action golf, but just a clip. Um, so I'll put that in here. Um, so that plan fell through and then we had talked about going to the lake but then i was like well i need to cut the grass it is long and in some places i cut almost half the blade off in some places i cut barely cut anything but we'll show you in detail the yard it looks phenomenal right now i still have some dry places but it is what it is we got some sprinkling of rain last night a little bit of rain this morning where tomorrow it's going to be mid 60s which is sunday which means it is already coming past when you're watching this video but i hope we get some rain out of that and the yard looks even better but 
Uh, we're going to show you the yard. We're just going to hang around here uh, for the weekend. I'll show you anything fun we may go out and do, throw those clips in here, and then we'll, we'll go around and just look at the yard because it is looking pretty good. So we ended up driving up to a friend from our church's campsite. So currently I'm on kid duty and they are playing over here on the little set. So uh, back over here is the campsite. So we may show you that in a bit. So we're here hanging out on this Sunday evening. Church was awesome. Um, so lot, lots and lots of, of people around for Memorial Day weekend. Man, it is chilly today. It's about 55, 58 degrees, and you probably hear the wind blowing. So, uh, not a warm day at all. Uh, very unusual. We did get rain. I had to show you guys the lawn before I finish this video. The rain really greened it up, it looked like, and kept it growing. So, anyways, um, today, just enjoying some time with the family up at the lake. So as always, we'll start in the backyard. Um, I did a, as you can tell, I did the cross pattern. Um, I did a memorial mow and you'd be like, well, what's different than that from any other time, Mr. Ferguson? I did the way that I hate to do it. Why? Because soldiers and, and, and you know, uh, the sacrifice, <laughs> uh, Memorial Day, doing something you don't wanna do in the military, deploy sometimes. And uh, so I cut the grass the way I hate to cut it in honor of Memorial Day. And you will see some loose blades where it's long and I miss some, but I think it looks pretty incredible. You still got this up and down pattern that's just ingrained into my grass, but it looks pretty good. Um, I was gonna set it up and um, and it is about one o'clock. Um, so uh, we did some trimming down the side over here on the trees. I think that looks pretty good. I was, I was gonna set the camera right here and trim it and forgot to do it, so uh, forgive me. But I think the yard is for, for the first of June almost. This is pretty incredible, guys. I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to throw it back in y'all's face, but all y'all, it's like, I think you put down too much nitrogen. I don't know, man, it's looking pretty good. Um, I may have hit the edge because like to, to for you for, on your side and your point, like right here, look at this, it is dying off some in some areas, but 
this is a very rocky area. Like I said, this area stresses all the time. So uh, that is not really unusual, but to your some of the guys in the comments point, it may be because of that nitrogen that just sent it over the edge. So we may all be right. So it's totally different if you hide this. If I put, where's my, if you just look at that, that looks disgusting. But then if you come over here, it's like, oh, totally different yard. So soil, I think rocks and all of that have a huge part to play over here, but it's looking pretty good. Um, it's the same type mow over here on the side. Um, you can't tell from this angle that we're walking. We'll get up here by the truck. I did my regular north and south on this strip. That is the best looking way to cut it. I needed to go. I went left and right last time and it looked silly but I need to switch it up because my, my mower is starting to ingrain the pattern. And, um, and so I do have to switch it up from time to time. But back here, you can see the side, man, it just looks super good. I love the way that looks, it looks really awesome. Actually, I wanna snap pictures while I uh, do this for Instagram. So check us out on Instagram. Here's our little decorations. If I don't think we had them up before, I did end up changing, just as a side note, um, I did end up changing this light up here. It was there since we bought the house in 08. And I put some LEDs up, man, never been happier. It's like, uh, it's like Major League Baseball Stadium out here at nighttime now. This is all lit up with LED. It is a LED light clearly. And uh, anyways, just wanted to mention that. I had some footage, it's like, eh, that ain't, that ain't dealing with lawn care. We ain't gonna talk about it. But we did do a little bit of decoration. There's old glory. Hey baby, oh, you're all hung up. Let me uh, let me loosen you up here. There we go. Let her fly. Looks good. Um, and then we got you know on the door over here and our little flag. So you saw that in the last video. But here is the so in the front yard. Uh, you may have seen, may not have seen. Um, I'm not sure, but we did a uh, a double cut on the yard. Cut it from left to right sideways, and then um, from right to left. So. We did it this way and we did it the way we were just looking. So we did it both ways. So we got that. And then you still got ingrained in it, the, the north south cut. So if we expand out here, you can kind of see what we're working with. It don't look so good straight on like it typically does with the north south, but you can still see those stripes. And um, when we get over here, you should be able to see my little side to side cut. There you go. You can see it a little better. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, let me snap that. And uh, on the side, you can kind of see the side cut. It was more of a left to right. You're going to be able to see that better probably back up this way. But I thought it looked awesome. I think it's a great memorial mow. I don't know if I've ever done side to side both ways like this before. I don't know if I've ever done that. But we did it today. So uh, I think it looks pretty phenomenal. And uh, snap that picture. We may just make this our you know, our uh, front yard and everything. Uh, the, but you see right here, let me zoom in. Notice how when I do that, my voice changes. It's crazy how the microphone reacts differently. There is a dry spot right in this area. So I'm paying attention to that. Uh, we wanna keep an eye on that. Um, and again, just one more time, I'll show you the uh, down from the mailbox. Somebody broke our mailbox, man. It kind of makes me mad. Um, somebody hit it. All these construction trucks coming up and down this road. Somebody whacked it and wasn't man or woman enough to own up to it. So really, uh, really aggravating, but it'll be okay. There's, uh, there's worse things in the world to happen than having a cracked mailbox. So that is the mow. Um, that is what I've been working on all morning. Did the edging, as you can see, broke out the... Uh, um, I think it's a Toro, I can't remember, and did the the mechanical aerating and then string trimmed it. So it's looking great. And so celebrating Memorial Day. So who knows what the rest of the day will hold for us, but um, I do have a Subway sandwich that's calling my name. I'm gonna go pick up in a minute. So I'm looking forward just to, for lunch. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, liquid gold. Liquid gold. Look, it's even running. Look at that guy over there. He's just as happy sitting on his porch. I can't tell you how long it's been since we've seen water run down here besides from our water faucet, man. This is a good, it just started. It's been going probably three minutes. And look, look over there at Cindy's driveway. It's already running down the road it's so hard i wish it was a little bit like this it's gonna last a while remember that dry spot i filmed this morning no worries now man 
so, so, so happy to see this. And it's cold. It's like 60 some degrees. It is chilly after it being 90s. Well, everybody, we're going to conclude the video there. I know it's not one of the most exciting videos of being a holiday weekend. Um, I'm trying to get this completed and get it out. And most people will probably be out cooking out with family, hanging out on vacation. And um, so uh, being that my videos come out on Monday, this one probably won't be watched so much. But regardless, uh, I hope you had a great Memorial weekend. Uh, we Our rain lasted here probably about 10 minutes or so. It looks like it already greened up the lawn a fair amount, as you can see. Um, it's, we've got another chance at another thunderstorm to run through here. So uh, it's a little wet. The cars are wet, but the yard is really popping green. You can't tell so much on camera, but it's looking really well. So hope you guys had a great Memorial Day. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's kind of boring. We cut some grass and, uh, and talked some, and that's about it. But we'll try to do better coming up this Friday. Um, I will try to get a midweek quickie coming out Wednesday. Not sure what that'll be, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, and uh, we'll see you again on Friday. Thank you guys. Subscribe if you're unsubscribed. We'd love to have you around. And uh, again, thank you all for the support. We'll check you out on Friday. God bless. Be safe.